We're going to talk about the Bucks, but we can't talk about the Bucks without talking about Doc Rivers. You mean the greatest coach in the, the NBA? The greatest future, coach of all time. Hall of Famer. Yep, absolutely. Doc Rivers. Um, okay, is he, wait, time out. Before I even like we even start talking about this, is he a Hall of Famer or no? No. no. Okay. No. I, I don't know enough about basketball to know. I have only seen the memes. Yeah. So that's why I'm confused why teams keep picking him up because mm-hmm. he's bad. He then, was the coach for what was the first team he was on? The 2008 the Celtics. Yeah, and then after that, he was on that team with his son, right? What? Well, Austin Rivers, Rivers was on the Clippers. Yeah, yeah during the Chris the Paul, Blake Griffin, yeah. Lobster. And then he era. traded his son, right? Yeah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and um, then he goes to Sixers no, right yeah. up. Yeah, and then he trades his uh, son-in-law. Yeah, yeah. Um, when this, I don't think we talked about it on the podcast when this trade happened. Well, not the trade when they fired Adrian Griffin. I was like, okay, it makes sense. Like they weren't playing up to their standard. But when they hired Doc Rivers, I was just like, what the fuck yeah, are you doing? Essentially, I was like, what in what scenario does this make sense? Because Doc Rivers has not been a good coach. He's proceeded over like meltdowns. Again, so- Sixers, people forget, up 3-2 on the Celtics in the playoffs last year. Going If they win the series, they're going to go play the Miami Heat who are playing way over their head, right? They lose the series. Because James Harden flames out, Doc Rivers doesn't make changes. They lose a close game in Game Six. It wasn't like they got blown out. Like they they yeah. they lost themselves that series where they could have gotten to the Eastern Conference Finals. Finally got out of the second round and then played a Heat team that they probably could have beaten and gone and oh, played yeah. Nuggets in the Finals. And then Embiid Jokic Finals would have been lit. Yeah. But so they they lose that series. They were bad the year before. James Harden requests a trade out of Philly. I mean, your yeah. one job is to keep your star players at least happy and together. James Harden wants out of town. He gets traded. Um, Doc Rivers obviously gets fired. Now he's sitting on the bench with Mike Breen and Doris Burke for these <laughs> games, just enjoying life. And I was like, you know, Doc, you probably seem happy, like less stressed out, like yeah. you're good on the call, like stay there. And then he's like, he's doing this some kind of advising for the Bucks in, in the meantime and anything. The why they would hire this guy to be their head coach is beyond me, and it's just gotten worse and worse. So of course we're recording this after JJ Redick laid into Doc Rivers, yeah. but I wanted to talk about it beforehand anyway. Like he's exactly right. Doc Rivers doesn't hold anybody accountable. He has just put excuse and excuse and excuse about why this team isn't succeeding this year, and it's ridiculous. The Milwaukee Bucks have one of the best players of the entire generation of NBA history in Giannis Antetokounmpo. They have Dame Lillard, who is not playing well. But he is a great player as well. They have a team that has made has won the finals and the structure is still yeah. there and they've made some changes. They have Chris Middleton, who's a really good third option. They have all these guys. I know you think he's ugly, but he's yeah, a good third option. I never <laughs> said he was bad at basketball. He's just ugly. <laughs> um, but they've got all these players. Like, figure it out. Like you, I, know, I know you came into the, the coaching midseason. I know that's not easy. Like, but you figure it out. Like, like at a certain point, like yeah, I get it. You're picking up the team midseason, whatever. But like, th- there's a reason why they're what the three seed right now. Mm-hmm. Like, they're a good basketball team. They got worse when they added Doc Rivers. Yeah, worse. Yeah. The whole idea was that Adrian Griffin wasn't getting the job done. He wasn't perceived well in the locker room, and your team has gone worse. You were three and seven in your last ten games in an Eastern Conference right now. Who the Knicks? Everyone's injured on the Knicks. Yeah. They are OJ. Joe OJ's out. Mitchell yeah. Robinson's out. Literally everybody has heard of that yep. team. And the fact that the Knicks have a shot at passing the Bucks. Yeah. They're with, a game with, and a half back with nobody. The Sixers, Joel and has been out for three, two weeks. Yeah. He's not even eligible to hit a 65 game cap anymore for the season. Yeah. He's had a knee surgery. There are two games out. The Pacers are four games out when they had a complete skid after the midseason tournament. And the Pacers don't have anywhere near the talent necessary to compete with the Bucks, especially before the Siakam acqu- acquisition. You're right now been passed by the Cleveland Cavaliers who are count it 50, I think 15 and 17 or whatever against teams with winning records yeah. and 23 and one against or whatever. It's ridiculous. They're, they're, they're bad team merchants. Yes. It sounds like the Dolphins. <laughs> oh my God. And they're lucky they play in the Eastern Conference for that reason because there's a lot of bad teams in yeah. the East, but the Cavs are like feasting off of just beating bad teams and the Bucks are letting them pass them because they can't figure it out. And it's it's killer because as soon as Doc got to town for the Bucks, offense plummets. Like yeah. Why why is that the case? Like it makes no sense. He's been blaming the schedule. He said the players got to show up a little bit more. Like no, you have to be a good coach. Mm-hmm. Like you're. He's acting like he's the victim. He's like he won an NBA championship, got the benefit of the doubt everywhere he went because he left the Clippers, got a job for the Sixers, left that job, got on ESPN. Like no one feels sorry for you, Doc. Like you've. <laughs> 
You've done every. It's also made bank. Let's be yeah, very clear. You've made here. a ton of money. You've gotten every opportunity to see. You've had great basketball players like yeah. Chris Paul, uh, Blake Griffin on your team, Joel Embiid, yeah. Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and James Harden. James Harden, James yeah. Harden and I'm forgetting one other player on Tyrese there. Tyrese Maxey. Or, like you've got, you've had a great. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll stretch there. Um, Pat Bev. Okay. Yeah, and now you have Giannis Antetokounmpo on your and team, Damian Lillard, and Damian and yeah. Dame on your team, and I'm supposed to be feel sorry for you. Like, oh well, it's hard to be a coach. You know yeah, I, no. You know who I feel sorry for? Jacques Vaughn, who had Kevin Durant, yeah. Kyrie Irving, and James Harden on his team, and just got fired because all those guys left, and now he's yeah. left with a bad roster. Like that's who I feel sorry for. I don't feel yeah. sorry for Doc Rivers, yeah. who, by the way, it wasn't like he got forced into stuff. He took the Bucks job. It's not like yeah. they were like, well, Doc, you in your have con- to sign. In your contract, is stipulated yeah. with ESPN, it stipulated that if a head coaching job came open, you would take it. Yeah, like, he didn't have to take this job, and now he's complaining about it. Yeah. It's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, like, I'm so- like I don't know. Like JJ Redick deserved the lay into him, and people are like, oh, JJ Redick like was made relevant from uh, Doc Rivers. Like, even if you want to make the cap. argument, like, cool, but like Doc, like he deserves to be called out because he's just always putting his players on blast and saying how hard it is for them in the middle of the year, and they might, they might pull it together because they have the best player on the planet. But it's not going to be because of Doc Rivers, and I guarantee you, there's going to be a moment in the playoffs. Maybe it'll cost them the series. Maybe it won't. Where Doc Rivers does something that everybody's like, huh? Yeah. And they're going to lose this. They're going to lose the game, lose the series, make it harder on themselves. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be like, why did they hire this guy? And yeah. they're going to fire him in the off season. And they're going to go get a new coach again next year. And they're going to go through this entire process while Damian Lillard's, Lillard's getting older. It's going to be sick when Giannis goes out of Knicks. <laughs> he might, because I don't know if you want to hang around with this team anymore because they haven't got the head coach right. They fired uh, Budenholzer, who was okay. Mm-hmm. They got Adrian Griffin in place, kind of fit from the same system. They fired him, shortest head coaching reign of all time. That's and then they're going to, Doc Rivers might be Adrian Griffin for the shortest coaching reign of all time. Yeah. Because he's going to get fired at the end of the season. Yeah. That, and he would like, only that's have crazy played, to like, think about. Yeah. The Bucks are going to have the two shortest head coaches of all time with one of the best players of all time. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's a disgrace to do for Giannis to have that like on his team. Um, it's insanity. Anyone else want to rip into Doc Rivers? Uh, thank you for ruining the hopes and dreams of Sixers fans last season. <laughs> uh, I hate you. Thank God you're out of Philly. Um, I wish you stayed in Philly. I really do. No, just because I wanted them to actually, suffer no, for I'm so long. I'm glad you're on the Bucks now. Thank you. There we go. But now we, the now we got it. Very, now we got it. Would make me happier than a Buck Sixers like second and the round Sixers matchup. knock out the Bucks and, and they we just get like out the second round. <laughs> and it's because like. Tyrese Maxey was allowed to like cook and because remind me Doc Rivers had put uh, Tyrese on the bench for the first year as a rookie Damn, he was yeah. really good and I kind of supported it at the time I understand the development aspect of it but like he was really good obviously and I would just love to see like Joel Embiid just like all over the Bucks in the playoffs oh and then watch Doc Rivers have to watch like he he cut, did such a bad job at coaching the that team, team that he built he's, yeah he's gonna watch a <laughs> Nick Nurse led good Sixers team kick the Bucks' ass in the playoffs and then he's going to be like oh i had that guy oh. i had that roster damn they had a better player on there too that roster it's not much different than it was when he was there and it's arguably worse yeah you could argue with star power it's worse and i think that there's a legit good. shot they could easily beat yeah the Bucks. we have kyle lowry now oh yeah, yeah. sorry bbl Ooh. lowry yeah i'm excited let me tell you <laughs> oh him. boy i'm excited to see him on court every night <laughs> yeah <laughs> Him uh, and Kelly Oubre. Oh, 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 we're spoiled. So, fire me up, baby. <laughs> Neither you two stand up. <laughs> um. Anyway, that's Doc Rivers. Um. Transitioning hard. Transition to football here. All right.